Okay, so in this example, I'm going to show you how to use the upper bound theorem, the upper bound uh, formula for using Simpson's rule. So this was the last example we did regarding finding uh, the approximation. So we had this function, or this integral, and we found the approximation of S2, which was 1 fourth. Okay, and again, we had delta x was equal to 2. Okay, and is equal to 2 a and b. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find what the upper bound is going to be, but in order to do that, we need to find the fourth derivative. Now, the problem we're going to run into is you might already see is finding the fourth derivative. Okay, so in this case, the first derivative is 3x squared, the second derivative is equal to 6x, right? And, oops, and third derivative is equal to 6. Well, what does that mean? The fourth derivative of x is 0. Well, which means that m is 0. The maximum value that this function has over the interval is 0. So if we take our uh, error, right? So the, the maximum error has to be less than what? n times b minus a to the fifth over 180 uh, n to the fourth. But if this is, but if n is zero, then this thing is equal to zero. What does that tell us? Well, that tells us that this approximation is the exact answer. And we can see that by integrating, right? So if we integrate this, what do we get? We get 1 fourth x to the fourth evaluated from 0 to 1. And that's equal to a fourth. OK. So again, this is kind of a trivial case, but I want to show you that you indeed can find out. OK. Now, if I gave you something else, um, you could do this, again, you could do the same thing that I did with the midpoint formula and the trapezoidal formula and find what that maximum error would be. Or if I asked you, hey, if I want to be within a certain, so if I gave you the maximum error that I want, you can then go backwards and find the, the number of subintervals that I would need to use in order to get that, to make sure that that, um, the difference between the exact answer and the approximated answer would be less than what you want, okay? Okay, that's it. Have a great day.